What's up, people? It's Jank Games here, and today we're playing the Lancaster Leak O'Brien State Park. It's like this, like, found footage type horror game kind of thing. As usual, I don't really know anything else besides that. I just seen what it looked like, and uh, I'm just gonna jump right in. And if you like this video, you know, make sure you leave me a like down below. And if you aren't subbed already, you know, please leave me a sub if you want to see more content. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna just get right into this. Uh, I don't know what to expect, to be honest with you. The following tape and many others were recovered by FBI intern Valerie Bardot, Bardot? and given to us. I said Bardot because I assumed it's not English. Hello, Valerie. Leaving without a trace, she suddenly went missing at the end of her internship in Lancaster, California. Oh. Foul play suspected. Okay. All right. Well, so long as Valerie is missing, these tapes will continue to be leaked. We gave you a chance, and this will be your last. What? Uh oh. Uh oh. This is just the classic warning. Um, I'm not gonna sit here and read all of that, bro. We we don't read in the terms and conditions, bro. Who are we? I don't get this out of my face, man. I don't care about this. I know I'm not supposed to have this. I already know. I know how this stuff works. Do I care? No. No, I don't care. It's just gonna sit here in my face. I get it. I've been warned. Jesus. All right. Tape purpose, debrief, debrief date, uh, 1988, uh, blah, blah, case type, missing persons, entity is present, and the status is resolved. Okay. Cool. Uh, O'Brien State Park. This is the first picture. Uh, previously inhabited by both Dakota and o Ojibwe tribes, it is now home to year-round camper and hikers. The park, along with other state parks up north, has experienced an increase in animal-like attacks. The cause was unknown until found footage of missing persons... Br I was reading that! Uh, Brady Kaufman. Who's the one that's found missing? That's his picture. On August 25th, 1988, Brad Brady Kaufman, a 59-year-old male, visited O'Brien State Park unaccompanied. The subject behavior during his visit was unusual as he intermittently started recording at various times. Medical... Okay. Subsequently, on August 26th, the subject was reported as missing. His body was discovered on August 30th, and the recovered footage from his recording device will now be presented in chronological order accompanied by annotations. Now, there's supposed to be, like, other, like, found footage games from this, like, world or whatever. But the next one isn't out yet. So, what? Oh, 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 oh my god. 10 p.m., the subject initiated recording. The reason for their sudden recording activity remains unknown. So, I'm playing as that guy, huh? Uh, subject would occasionally zoom on certain objects. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, it's really hard to tell what I'm looking at. That's a lantern. That that is a lantern. And we got a little campfire. Let's gather around campfire. It's our campfire song. Our C A M P F I R E S O. Where am I going? This is a pretty big open area. Hello, tent. Zoom. I don't know what that is, but I see a backpack. All right. I guess I'm just gonna. Can I sprint? I can't. We're just gonna wander off into the distance. I mean, the distance of like whatever the, the subject turned right and went to the bathroom to shower. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna turn right and go to the bathroom to shower because your boy is stanky. Your boy looking musty. Bro, it's so hard to see that I thought that was a monster over there, dog. All right. Well, let's go take a shower. Where are we going to take a shower? I don't know. Hold on. Give me a second. I wanna see if I can like change the way this looks. Okay, no, so this, I got everything, everything is set up the way I'm supposed to, highest quality, everything, it's just, it's just kind of the aesthetic of the game. Alright, well, I guess I'm going this way to use the bathroom. What is that? Is that the sky? I can't even tell what time, but what time of day it is. That moon is massive! Why would the bathroom be down the, oh my god! What the, f holy crap! My god, why? Oh, oh, oh my god. Jeez, that was loud. That was it? It was just a cheap jump scare? There was no other reason for that besides to just freaking throw me into disarray and just make me go insane? There's a lot of cars out here. I can't really go anywhere besides just straight, I guess. I've been alive for two minutes, so I mean, that's a good sign, right? I mean, I've been managing to survive. Oh my god. That was such an unnecessary jump scare, bro. Like, what the heck? Is this where the bathroom is? Why is it all the way out here? 
All right, well, I gotta take a piss, or or maybe I gotta take a dump. I don't know, duty calls. It's got it's got some slender vibes to it. Click click. Oh uh, oh, I definitely don't gotta take a piss because what's going on over here? What is this? What is going on in here? Oh oh, I forgot. I I have to take a shower. I don't have to take a dump, Bruh. I'm I'm off track, man. That jump scare completely screwed me. Uh, stops filming, then takes a shower. It is estimated 10 minute elapsed before the subject films again. The subject returns. Alright, well, I'm back. I took a shower. I'm clean, squeaky clean, nice and neat. Gonna just take my way back. It's really stinky in here. Somebody flushed the toilet. To be honest, I don't really care who did it. Because, you know, for all I know, there's other people here. I, I, I'm guessing I'm going back to my camp. Like, I already took a shower. I'm nice and clean. So, I'm just gonna make my way back home. Or my campsite, I guess, not home. Why? And it just, apparently, this guy just decided to film for no reason at all. It's so weird that he would just do this. Like, man's was like, I'm gonna go take a shower. Let me go film real quick. Man's just gonna go film a. Eh, 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 you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna say what it is, but, you know, he's gonna do one of them by himself. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this is for my adult viewers, you know? Alright, here we go. Um, it's, it's so hard to see, bro. This footage is. Yo, this man, what is this guy filming on? Like, I got an Android phone, but this man's got, like, the oldest version, clearly. Like, I mean... <laughs> Shut up, bro. You ain't scaring me. Yeah, I'm obviously filming this with, like, an old camcorder. This is 1988. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not dumb. I know that's not a freaking... Was it this windy before? I feel like it wasn't. Because <laughs> I don't think I did all these twists and turns. Who is that? Who are you? What are you doing here? Are you a friend? Mm, uh. Upon return to the campsite, an unknown figure stands near the subject. Okay, not a friend. Neither campgrounds records with, uh, nor witnesses recall seeing a white male of this profile. Why this person was here or who they are still remains unknown, but is not being actively pursued. You're telling me that there's a random person that you don't recognize? The largest jump of times happened at this point with an estimate of one to two hours times elapsed. The recording resumed within the subject two miles in the Hardwood Hills loop. Why the subject started the hike is not relevant to the Bureau's involvement. Y'all are just literally just like ignoring a bunch of random things. Am I controlling this? Okay, I am. Why did I turn around? I guess we're hiking down? I don't know what's going on. And honestly, the fact that I saw a random person that they are very sure wasn't supposed to be there and aren't investigating it at all is actually kind of insane. Like, what kind of FBI people are you? That is ridiculous. <laughs> they just was like, it's kind of... I mean, there's a random figure. It's a little suspicious, but... Uh... I mean, it's probably nothing. I mean, like, they're all supposed to be the Bureau, dog. Do something. These are people that are going missing. Like, this is not just a random thing that we're supposed to just ignore. Where am I going? Like, <laughs> I had a whole car. I'm just taking a walk. I mean, maybe it's peaceful to, like, take walks in the middle of the night. I can kind of get it. But, like, this is, like, Jason-level woods, man. Like, this doesn't feel like something I would just wander by myself. He doesn't even got, like, headphones. Maybe he does. Is that a cow? Why do I hear it? Was that a moo? <laughs> that was mad random in the middle of the woods? I mean, you, I mean, I did see a random stranger that was apparently a white person or whatever. And there's like little like fireflies and stuff. It's kind of peaceful in a way. I'm really unsettled though, I'll tell you that much. Because I don't know what to expect. I'm hearing farm animals. Like what is going on? I can't run, so... I'm assuming it's just a walking sim. Like, I don't think I actually have to do anything. I'm reliving something, so I'm probably not supposed to just, like... I don't think I can die. Is like, oh, my God! You and your cheap jump scares! Freaking just random deer jumping all across the way, man. God. You know, I know it's your home and your territory, but you don't gotta be so obnoxious about it. What is that? Is that a building, or is that just more road? At some point, I'm just gonna get kidnapped or something because this footage gets like this footage gets found later, and this guy's missing. So, where am I right now? Where am I going? What kind of hike is this? How is this not relevant to the freaking sir? Is that water, running water? Oh, this is a bridge. I really couldn't tell to be honest with you. All right, let's cross the bridge. This bridge is so unstable. Yeah, honestly, that's about how I'm feeling right now, too, walking through these creepy-looking woods. That moon is still nice and bright. That's good, so I can at least see. 
Um, okay. Um, I'm just kind of saying things to fill the space at this point, because, because, um, to be honest, I don't want to walk silently. I'm kind of, it's going to make me very unsettled and nervous, and I just, I kind of just want to be comfortable. I, I, I'd like to just keep it, the, the jump scares to just random things like car horns and deers jumping across the way, and not like a giant demon that looks like the grudge demon or something like that, bro. I don't need to hear any weird, like, grudge noises or anything like that. I just want to mind my own business. That is a lot of insects. Is that a dead... Hey, yo, that's a dead deer. That's tough. I just seen your brother not too long ago. Killed by an entity. It just says an entity. It literally... that That's it. What? Subject encountered deceased deer attacked by... Oh, disease. Sorry. By an entity. The film abruptly ends after subject detects entity in vicinity. Okay... Subject exhibits a uh, stress and flees off trail. Entity pursues subject and can be heard. It, what? Pursues me? Subject resumes filming approximately four minutes after pause. This marks the final pause. Um, am I going to be running from an entity? The subject is audible for the first time, displaying emotions of fear. All right, well, I don't know what's going on, and I don't know where I'm going. There's, like, no trail. I'm walking uphill, though. Uh, it begins running. Shit, there's multiple sounds of entity. Oh, I'm oh I'm running. This sounds like aliens or something. What is going on? What are these noises? Bro, those are probably just cute little I don't know, animals of some kind. They're not, they're not like demons or anything. They're probably just normally normal things or like Yeah! That sounded like it was in front of me. I'm not gonna cap. They just they're probably just like a new species of bird or something like that. It's like they're probably nothing anything that I have to worry about. Y'all are Those are footsteps behind me! I can't go this way! Am I finna die? I hope not, because I don't know where I'm going. This man is way better than Alan Wake. He can run for a very long- Someone's coming right next to me on my right. Oh, 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 whatever it is, it's catching up to me. And I- Honestly, I don't want to turn around- Yo, that thing is close! I'm gonna turn around. I don't see anything. There's nothing there. I don't know why I turned around. What is that?! What was that? Oh, oh! Uh, Struggle against entity, but it gets away. But gets away. The camera is severely damaged. I got out. I was freed. I dropped the flashlight in the camera, and it creates a shadow backdrop. What is that thing? Uh, oh my uh, God! Uh, uh, Don't you? Uh, Subject blood creeps uh, the frame. Uh, 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 <laughs> distant enemies can be heard. Did <laughs> my head get bit off? There is no shot. I'm still making these noises. There's no way. Brady Coffin's death would occur over the next five minutes. The remaining footage has been cut short for viewer discretion. Additional entities can be heard and would later fight over the remains. The footage ends with the camera battery runs out. Oh. Oh! Uh, subjects remains were found scattered. Most flesh was consumed. Liter little personal items remain intact. The public was told it was an abnormal bear attack. Oh, and, oh, the public. I was about to say, there's no shot that anyone believed that that was a bear. The tibia found 0.5 miles away. They're, bro, they just had my remains literally all over the place. Subject film was the first footage captured of S0012. Ultimately, the subject's footage provided the Bureau proof to extend funding in a special operation to contain entities. This case marks the first of many successful entity resolution programs. So they literally made a branch specifically to freaking hunt these things or find out what they are. Name oh is a Wendigo. Risk severe containability level three. No shot. Like three is in green, so that means it's gotta be like they think they have a chance of getting it. Wendigos are creatures origin uh, originated from Native American tribes from the Great Lakes region. The malevolent supernatural beings be, uh, bring terror to forest dwellers and are linked to numerous missing persons cases. Tall and emaciated looking, Wendigos bear antlers and possess an insatiable something something something. Uh, according to recent intelligence, there has been a notable resurgence of the Wendigo, and their geographical distribution has now expanded southward towards Minneapolis. In response to this emerging threat, the Bureau has established a joint task force in collaboration with the Canadian CSIS to take immediate and decisive uh, action to halt the expansion of the species and eventual eradication. They're spreading out that much where they need to actually get an eradication. It is imperative to maintain strict operational security and keep the general public uninformed of these operations to prevent any unnecessary panic or interference. 
I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like, not being the people that think that there's a bear and just seeing a Wendigo would be so terrifying, bro. Like, what? <laughs> they're just like, yeah, it's, it's, it's just a bear attack. The story doesn't end here. Yeah, that's what I was saying before. There's like more games. They haven't come out yet. Uh, read our no sleep story, Reddit icon and menu. I work in security at a small FBI office. A man in a pink poncho almost killed me. Uh, consider joining the Discord or newsletter to know the release of the next game. Um, I probably won't be joining the Discord, but I'm going to be following along to see what's going on. But I did see, yeah, Cries at the Call Center is the one that I seen on Steam when I went to go get this one. But I guess that's Lancaster Leak. That was a very short game. And... Um, kind of unsettling. It's just, it was pretty simple, like, short, you know, walking sim kind of thing. And, uh, as far as the premise of the Wendigos, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I've, I mean, I'm glad they have a little bureau section unlocked for everything because uh, it's a little crazy. But, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like and, uh, subscribe if you haven't already because I always do content like this. I'm on my horror grind right now. I'm not going to lie. I'm feeling the vibes of horror, playing a bunch of different things like that. And, anyway, I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace out.